Here is an idea for a survival horror game. Here's an idea for a hypothetical sequel to one of my favorite third person survival horror games, Resident Evil Zero. And the idea for this video is Resident Evil Zero Part 2. Resident Evil Zero Part 2 is an idea for a survival horror game that I have been thinking of for a number of years. Now back in 2002, I actually played the Resident Evil Zero game for the GameCube, back when I had a GameCube. And it was one of my favorite survival horror games. But the ending to Resident Evil Zero always made me think, what happened to Rebecca Chambers and Billy Cohen between the events of Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil 1, and Resident Evil 2 and 3? So what happened to these characters during the outbreak in Raccoon City? Now we know what happened to Leon and Claire, but they never showed how Rebecca Chambers and Billy Cohen managed to get out of Raccoon City. I'm pretty sure Billy, Billy Cohen had to reach Raccoon City, you know, and I'm pretty sure Rebecca Chambers was flown back to Raccoon City along with Chris Redfield and the other characters. So what if there was a hypothetical game where you play as Rebecca Chambers and Billy Cohen surviving the outbreak in Raccoon City? Remember, in Resident Evil 2, these characters, or this character, Rebecca Chamber at least, did actually escape Raccoon City during the outbreak. So, this hypothetical Resident Evil 02 will basically tell a story about how this character, along with some random new characters, managed to get out of the city. Very similar to what we saw in Resident Evil Outbreak, but with a mainstay Resident Evil character, or a character that was there during the events of the first two Resident Evil games, or the first Resident uh, Evil game, Resident Evil 1 and its prequel Resident Evil 0. Now, the story of this game is simple. The main character, Rebecca Chambers, actually makes it to Raccoon City right before the outbreak of the T-Virus in the city. And during the story, she does run into the character of Billy Cohen, who is under a, an alias, who is using an alias as his name. Now, the game should start with a flashback. A flashback of Raccoon City just hours before the outbreak begins as the main characters are simply living their lives in Raccoon City and then it should flash forward to right after the outbreak begins so you're right in the epicenter of the outbreak in Raccoon City and you're playing as stars agent Rebecca Chambers in this scenario eventually you will run into Billy Cohen later on in the game but this is just the basic startup of the game now, when you play as Billy Cohen, you're basically running from the government. You're still running from the government. The government knows you're still out there, even though Rebecca Chambers filed that report in Resident Evil Zero that states that Billy Cohen had died and become a zombie. But some government officials know the truth. So in Billy Cohen's campaign, you're basically trying to escape capture by the government while also trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. Now, in terms of the gameplay, the gameplay of this game should be like an open world version of Resident Evil Outbreak. Resident Evil Outbreak and Outbreak Part 2 were some of my favorite survival horror games on the PlayStation 2. I wished for this game to be pretty much the same or similar to it, but more open world, more options. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto fused with Resident Evil Outbreak, but it would be the main setting or the main um, game mechanics of this hypothetical Resident Evil Zero. Now in terms of the enemies, oh man, I want all the enemies from the uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 series. I want you to fight the basic zombies, the crimson heads, the, uh, you know, the hellhounds, the, um, all of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, monsters from the Resident Evil series. But, I want there to be different environments in this game, you know. I don't want you just fighting in the cities. I want you to fight in the suburbs also, like in the housing areas. I want you to battle in the projects. I want you to fight in the um, the parks and the swamp areas and the uh, forested areas. So I want you to be able to go back and forth between the city and the mansion from Resident Evil 1 or the area where the mansion existed in, you know, Raccoon City Forest. 
you know, you should have multiple escape routes. There shouldn't just be one pathway like you see in most Resident Evil games. There should be multiple pathways, and along each pathway, there should be multiple um, enemy types and multiple survivors also. There should be different survivors on each uh, pathway. That way, you'll get the best of the replay. Uh, that way, you'll have the best replayability with this game. This game should have a high replayability. I want there to be multiple different endings and multiple different escape routes but all of them are pretty much just what if endings you know there will be one real ending like in every Resident Evil game there's the true ending but I want there to be multiple alternate endings depending on the decisions you make kind of like in Telltale's The Walking Dead but in the Resident Evil universe and in a more open world setting where you are pretty much exploring Raccoon City in its entirety so yeah I want there to be multiple enemies and um, multiple survivors that you will come across in this hypothetical Resident Evil Zero Part 2 Imagine like a Resident Evil with almost like a Walking Dead um, scenario where the infection spreads rapidly and there's just hordes of zombies around almost every corner. I want it to be open world so that the players can have multiple escape routes. Each escape route, on each escape route, you will meet different characters. Different characters, different pathways gives you different characters. You will still meet Billy Cohen and... Um, some other characters from the Resident Evil franchise along the way, and you can also run into characters from Resident Evil 2. I wouldn't say you run into, I wouldn't have you run into Leon and Claire as those characters didn't run into Rebecca Chambers, but maybe some secondary characters like Hunk or Carlos, or maybe even those characters that we saw in, uh, in uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, those umbrella agents, maybe have you run into those characters also. Or those um, those soldiers we saw. Uh, if you remember uh, Operation Raccoon City, there were a there are various factions in that game, including a faction of U.S. military soldiers. So maybe have you run into those soldiers as well? So Rebecca and Billy have to escape Raccoon City on foot without being spotted by the government. Rebecca Chambers herself doesn't have to worry about it because there's n there's really no consequences for her. But for Billy Cohen, there is definitely a large amount of conflict there is definitely a constant of <laughs> now in terms of characters there's a bunch of Resident Evil characters that were there during the outbreak in Raccoon City you should have the ability depending on the pathway you take to run into different characters from the Resident Evil 2 and 3 and Resident Evil Outbreak storylines you know for example the uh, reporter Alyssa from Resident Evil Outbreak you should also be able to run into Carlos from Resident Evil 3 or you may be able to run into Hunk depending on the pathway you take from Resident Evil up uh, 2 and 3 you know those characters should appear at least along one or more pathways. That way you'll have even more replayability because you'll be able to encounter some of your favorite secondary Resident Evil characters from the past games. There should also be, uh, you know, there should also be more weaponry, you know. Resident Evil is a fun game in terms of weapons. I want there to be more weapons, just kind of like how you had in Resident Evil 4 and 5. You had a large variety of weapons in those games, from pistols to machine pistols. But I want you to start off with nothing but a handgun. And I want ammo to be more limited. I want it to feel like an open world survival horror, you know. I want it to be similar to The Walking Dead, where they have limited ammo, you know, when it comes to battling endless zombie hordes and monsters and all sorts of um, T-virus um, infected animals and um, creatures, you know. And in terms of monsters, I want there to be even more monsters, you know. Uh, not just the standard generic monsters like giant spiders and infected canines, you know. Be more, be like Resident Evil Outbreak. In Resident Evil Outbreak, there was a section of the game where you traveled to the Raccoon City Zoo and you had to battle um, in infected uh, zombie lions and zombie monkeys and all that. Add that to the game too, you know, but have these infected zoo animals running around the city, you know.
also have like um you know since raccoon city is a city and there are parks maybe there's like little ponds or rivers maybe have some um like mutated fish or mutated iguanas kind of like how you saw in resident Evil 4. remember that giant um, um salamander or giant newt that leon had to battle maybe have something like that sitting against floating around in one of these lakes or ponds um in or around um raccoon city you know but overall I want it to be a open world survival horror game and I want it to be a sequel to a direct sequel to um, Resident Evil Zero from 2002. Again, one of my favorite survival horror games from the GameCube, PS2 and Xbox era. So what do you think of this hypothetical Resident Evil Zero Part 2? Please tell me in the comment section below and until next time, this was What If Anime signing off. Now, in terms of how I wanted this game to be, I wanted this game to be an open world, third person survival horror. Imagine the Resident Evil, um, or imagine Raccoon City as an open world city. It's open world, but you're on foot and there are zombies everywhere, endless hordes of zombies.